Our scripture is going to come from Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32. And it read in the King James Version as this. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desire to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Let me set the table for you guys. You know, Jesus has just told them what to do, where to go, to get ready and prepare for the Last Supper. Jesus get there, they have a meal, Jesus stands up, takes a piece of unleavened bread and breaks it and explains that this bread represents his body and give it to him. He poured them some wine and gave it to him and said that this represents his blood. He went through all of that and shortly thereafter, they break out into an argument. They argue about who is going to betray Jesus and after Jesus leaves, who is going to be the greatest among them. So Jesus simply uh, squashes all of that and he tells them that the greatest one is the one who wants to serve others or to be a servant to others. Now imagine the devil is watching all of this. So as soon as that happened, I can see the devil saying to Jesus, I know you're not going to let them get away with this. I know you're not going to let them off that easy. Let me have them. And as soon as the devil said that to, to Jesus, Jesus singled out Peter, who is the greatest amongst equals. And he called Peter by his government name. And I can see him saying, Simon, Simon, the devil desires to sift you as wheat. Now, if Dr. Dates was sitting here, he probably would explain that that you is plural, which means that the devil says, I want to sift all of them. And you have to know what that sifting process it looks like. In that sifting, we can't get shifted unless the devil sifts us. So in order to be shifted up, God allows us to be sifted by the devil. But then he tells uh, Peter in the second verse that I prayed for you. Can you all imagine doing this fast? Just replace your uh, Simon's name with your name and know that God is praying for us. And he's praying that during this fast that our faith fails not. And he wants us to do that because when we get to a point where we are really strong in our faith, don't forget, people are watching us. Our family are watching us. They are not only just watching us, they're watching us on our jobs. They know that we are fasting and that we are praying and our church has a great mission. We know, they know that the world is watching Christians. God doesn't want our faith to fail. And he said, when we get strengthened in that, then go out and strengthen our brother. So my prayer as we continue to fast, that we not only get strengthened in our faith, but our fasting and praying will be a, an example to strengthen others. Lord, Help us during this fast. Continue to have the Father to strengthen us. Continue to have the Father to allow us to hear a word from you. So be glorified in our efforts. We're on our way, Lord, and you're doing a mighty work. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.